Someone just told me they don't eat sweets because it's bad for you. And I'm starting to realize what my parents meant when they said I should be careful with who I surround myself with. Welcome to the shaven butcher thingamajingy. Uh, another piece of advice that I've read the other day was if you want to live a happy and fulfilling life, avoid idiots, not carbs. <laughs> and for more useful life advice like that, hit the subscribe button. Button? Button? Shaving today with uh, Friedrich, Friedrich Reynolds Masonic razor. Have a look at that. Have a look at those scales, which I think are original. Bone, horn, horn, of course. So look at the Mace Illuminati stuff there. Ah. The soap is none other than Mitchell's Wool Fat from Bradford in Yorkshire. Comes with this handy little porcelain container. Very nice. The brush is a, hmm, hang on. The brush is a 28 millimeter Masetto brush. It's from China. Um, to band badger, one of my very, very best brushes. Uh, what else? Yeah, razor was dropped on this thing. This is a paddle strop, Tier Isar, three inch, a bit of flex there. Uh, oh shit, got water on it. Two sides of, of suede, one a bit more coarse than the other. Lovely, lovely thing. Ashar has one, for example. Coffee, cheers. Mm. Coffee was brewed in my, in my best, new best friend. Brewed in my best friend. You know, like the pigs who eat the beans. Anyway, this is, this is she. Pretty nice. Okay, let's uh, try and get a little bit of shave going. Got the Montreal Canadiens on today. Best team in the, no, actually, the worst team in the NHL. <laughs> they came dead last. So I try to do like this with Mitchells. Sometimes I bloom it, sometimes I forget. But I have a well moisturized brush and I squeeze out most of the water so it's not too frothy, but it is frothy anyway. Can you, can you see, you know? It's supposed to look like that, apparently. Apparently. So loads of foam and, and goodiness. Looks hopeful, looks like William's mug soap and you go, oh, not again, not another one. But you want to load quite a bit. It's a it's a hard, hard soap. Mine is grated to fit into the bowl properly, because it doesn't otherwise, which is incredibly silly. And I'm just trying to get all the goodies out, and you know, you you have a look at that, and it's all it's all foam, all froth. So two. To get it into something that looks like a lather, you need to work it a bit to make it calm down. So it, it really smells like like lanolin, which is also known as wool fat. So the name of the soap is Mitchell's Wool Fat because it has lanolin in it, you know, like other soaps do. And the, the recipe for this is from 1893. Sorry, or so they say anyway. And obviously soap creation has, has come some way since then. Um, you know, you have duck fat and you have butters and oils and things from the, from the plant life world and you know all sorts of things yet 
this is a cracking soap that I enjoy using a lot. And you can see now that after a bit of a beating, it's starting to have a thicker structure, not quite like toothpaste as you would with a you know, normal soap or a modern soap. You want to get that toothpaste feeling when you face lather. But it's starting to look good. And then, then you start adding water. Shedding a hair. I've been shedding a few hairs lately. I'm worried it's going to go. I have used it a lot. Okay, so now it's thick. I've got enough soap. And I start painting water into into the lather and it's a nice you know, it takes a nice sheen straight away I just dip the tips into the tap water okay you see it's starting to get a bit translucent that was a lot of water I put in and we just work it And you can see you're getting starting to be frothy again because I put too much water in, but it's starting to look a bit voluminous. Getting more and more soap mix, and this happens with every soap. Soap plus water plus agitation equals a lot of lather. You easily get out of control with this soap and you quite often think you've lost it, you've lost the soap. Look at that, starting to be pretty okay. But then it comes back. It's not for the faint hearted, I guess. No, it's, it's not too complicated actually. And many people make a much better leather than I do. Haunting it with a, even more water, even more agitation. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Have a look at that. Now that's thick and rich. And you can you can you can do this all day basically. Yeah. See that? Don't tell me that's not a good lather. Well, you can and only I can tell but it looks pretty good doesn't it I, ideally I should I should work it even more to get even more bubbles out of it but I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it a day that's pretty pretty good pretty nice yeah, I've been, yeah, eight minutes almost exactly. I read a comment a while back about how not annoying it is when YouTubers lather for eight minutes. So I'm trying to, to make sure I, I stick to the, well, I get up to the eight minutes. Okay. Sheffield razor. So we've got a, Soap from Yorkshire in England, and we've got a razor from Yorkshire in England. So this is quite more or less a, a wet. Well, it's it's a boom, quarter hollow, sort of one quarter hollow maybe. Or is it a half hollow? No, it's one quarter, if, if there's such a thing. So my best super vintage Sheffield racer is a Wade and Butcher, a really old one, it's falling apart. Uh, so I need, to, I need to make sure I don't break it. I've renovated the scales and they're so thin, you know, they're making a 
cracking sound, you know, <laughs> when you when you tweak it. So best be careful. This these scales are in much better condition. Uh, still a bit airy. They could have done a better job. It's just, it's it's not not even skill. It's a matter of time. You work it long enough, it becomes becomes good and perfect. So today we didn't do so well. But that's okay. You know, if you try really hard and you fail, that's more annoying. And I only tried for eight minutes. Good, good, good. It's uh, it's festive season for me, so it's been a lot of a lot of high school graduations and. Uh, church com confirmations because when you're 14 you do that well most people don't but if you are a person of faith or your parents are then you, you're likely to confirm your relationship to God that you got from your baptism well, you were really young when you were baptized, if you are part of the Swedish Lutheran Church. So, it kind of makes sense to go through it all again when you're 14 and get and confirm your faith. So, so we'll be doing that and, and the finale is tomorrow when my son uh, has his senior high school graduation. So... He's getting up at 5.30, 6 o'clock, starts with a champagne breakfast at, at 6. Jesus. Yeah, so he's getting up at 5, I guess. And then off to school, get his grade. And then they come out of school. Just gonna grab a piece of tissue today. Um, get out of school and then they run, they travel the town on a, uh, what do you call it? The back of a, of a big truck, the whole school class is on that thing. Can you see that? That's quite airy, actually. It's a bad ladder today. It's a bad, it's a, it's a tricky soap. Tricky soap. I had it, put too much water in, and didn't put enough work in. Still, very slick, very nice. And then they go around town for a few hours, everybody waving at them, and then back home, party with the family. So we're having some 40, 50 people over. So food, <laughs> drinks, and then Quite a few people have know a lot of people that graduate because the two big schools graduate tomorrow and it's a Friday so compared to having the party in the middle of the week uh, I think we're going to require quite a bit of alcohol and because there are several families who said, yeah, uh, 
you know, we'll come to you, we come to you last, uh, or at least come back and spend the evening, finish the evening here, which is nice. And some people are staying over in the house, so that's, I think it's going to be a good party for us. He's, my, my son will be off partying until early morning with his friend. So, but you know, he's 18, so I'm, it's not like I'm going to stay sober or anything. You know, come on. Do your worst. It would be cool if he comes home at four o'clock in the morning and, and we're still awake partying. I don't think so. I wouldn't put money on that. <laughs> Maybe till midnight. It's, you know, we're basically taking the week off just to prepare everything. It's, it's a horrific amount of, of work. Yeah, we did good. We did good. As good as it gets with the wedge. Well, you know, some wedges are gold and then you get a super close shape. But with uh, your average uh, wedge, you have to work a bit harder to get super, super BBS, you know, compared to uh, a full hollow. Okay, okay, so do we have uh, after after spice? I think, I think Urban Viking from OSP to keep it British, English even. This is uh, inspired by Dior uh -huh, Sauvage, maybe, <laughs> I never remember. It smells really good though. I think it's Dior Sauvage. And it's a good quality aftershave. OSP, if he's, if he's still around, obsessive soap perfectionist from, from England. Very good. There was the Masonic Frederick Reynolds out of Sheffield. It is Sheffield, isn't it? Sort of made a, yeah, it is. And Mitchell Wolfat. Good stuff. The good stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't remember uh, the life advice we gave you in the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Take care. Stay sharp.